let me show you where you can find a file that you have just created, but you can't remember which folder you put it in. Hi there, it's Luke from Apple Online Academy. It has happened to me so many times that I have quickly created a new document in any app, save that file using command S, quickly exit the app, and then I can't remember where I saved that file. After all, you are not always paying attention to the exact folder that you are in. But don't worry, there are many methods how to find that file you just created, or even some other one that you have created a little while ago. The first thing you can do is just go right back into that app. I will open pages again, and the app will actually show me open dialog with the last used location. And here is the file. So now I know where it is. I can select it and press command R and that will open up the location in the finder and I can move the file where I need it to be. If pages doesn't open with this dialog, you can always go to file menu on top and open recent. You see there is the last document you opened, so you can open it through here. And once you have the document opened, you can click at the name and it will show you where it was saved and you can also change the location here. But there is a way to find any lost file without using the app. It's right in the finder. Just open your window with command N and here on the left sidebar you should have a recent folder by default. I don't have that here, I've turned it off. That's okay, I can always get to it by going to go menu and here I can open recents. The file should be on top, depends if you worked on other files since then. It may be further down, but it's pretty easy to find it here. So now we have found a file, but it doesn't really show where the file is. Helpful will be turned on the path bar. So open view menu and there is show hide path bar. Then you will see where the selected file is located. But again you can also select it and use the same command R and it will take you right to that folder. You also have the ability to look at recents across all apps by going to the Apple menu. Here you will find recent items. And not only items, you will see applications and documents and down here is our lost document. Thing to note is that it's going to sort these alphabetically, not in the order they were created, so you have to know what is the name of your file. Then of course, you can always just search using either Spotlight or the Finder. So you Spotlight, press command space and if you know the name of that file, then it's easy. Just type it and here you will see a pages document which was created today. So I know that's the file I want. I could use the tab key to see the preview of it and command R will take me to its location. Of course, I can just double click it to open it. Now keep in mind that you can search in the finder and in spotlight for the contents of the file, not just the name of it. So if you don't remember how you named it, Maybe you left it as untitled or something like that, but if you know some words which are in this document, you can easily search for them. I remember it was about charts, so I can search for a scatter chart. You can see, this is the one, I didn't even know the name. I just used a word that I knew would be unique in there, or use a combination of words, and it should list it near the top. Now a related problem to this is when you export a version of the document. In pages you have the option to export the document to PDF and if you don't pay attention where you're saving it, it's harder to find it because this file hasn't been opened. It's not pages document anymore and it was just exported, so it will not appear in recent here in pages. But it's not lost, it will still appear in find the recent folder and you can perform the search in spotlight same way as you did before and it will list this PDF as well. Another time people lose track of where they save the file is when they are actually downloading something from the web. If you download a file on the web page like that, it will usually go into the downloads folder. But it doesn't have to. Another way you can download something is to right click it and then choose download linked file. And here you can save it anywhere in your computer. In case you don't remember where did you save it, simply click on the downloads button here on top and you can see your download. 
Once you click on the magnifying glass, that will take you right to the document in its location. I believe that after watching this video, you will never lose a file anymore, or at least, you will always find it. I hope you find this video useful as well, and I will see you in the next one.